Hello, Jacolo here. It has been a while. This little break wasn't planned, I just couldn't bring myself to make both replays and write scripts, so that's how it went. However, I'm here to stay, not backing down, and moving forward one bloody inch, followed by another bloody inch. Anyway, it's time to talk about an engine, and this one is one of the best in the game, because hand traps. Cyframes are an archetype of psychic type light monsters introduced in high speed raiders all the way back in October 2015. Their cards were a very welcomed addition to the card pool in the TTG and quickly became more relevant, as one of the better hand traps in the game and are still present to this day, five years later. I was unable to find any data regarding the statement I'm about to make, so please take it with a grain of salt. I believe that Cyframes are one of the cards with the longest meta-relevant status in the entire game, and that's not going to change anytime soon. Anyway, back to the point. The Cyframe engine had a little upgrade in the form of Cyframe Lord Lamb that I released in Battle of Legend Heroes Revenge in July 2019. This linked two monster gave the engine an ability to search Cyframes and provides an answer to the greatest detriment of the engine. However, it wasn't really used in competitive decks since April 2020, or at least I wasn't able to find such data. Anyway, that's all when it comes to brief history of the Cyframe engine. Let's now look at the engine's individual components and its prime function. This little thing is the star of the engine. With the ability to negate a monster effect and provide not one, but two bodies, however it shares an activation condition with all the other Cyframe tuners, that being the owner having no monster on the field, making it a bit tricky to activate the garnet of the engine. This is the card that's needed for it to function. Technically, it can be substituted by Cyframe multi -flutter, but it's not a good option due to all of the tuners being able to summon Driver from the deck, while multi counts as Driver only while in hand or graveyard, preventing the summon from the deck. This is one of the other tuners used in the engine. Most of the time, it's in the side deck, not in the main deck. The other side tuner. Yes, this is all I have to say about this card. A link to monster which provides the engine with searching ability and it also mitigates the engine's activation condition. With Lambda on the field, all Cyframe monsters can activate their effects with monsters on the field, giving the engine greater negation ability. I don't think he needs any introductions. His primary function is to recycle Driver from the banished zone and to banish itself to force Lambda's effect to activate in order to search a Cyframe. But also, it rips a card from the opponent's hand. The build of the engine is rather simple, and it's similar to the Gemlight engine from quite a while ago. Three Gammas and one Driver are the core. It can also be built upon with Omega and Lambda. Epsilon and Delta, like I mentioned previously, have side deck options, mostly for trap and spell heavy decks, and in most cases are played at one copy each. As I mentioned previously, the engine provides negation, negation, and even more negation. Did I mention that it also provides negation? Is there anything better than that? That providing multiple negations. There's rarely any engine that does so. The monster it provides are always a level 2 tuner and a level 6 non-tuner, giving the player either an extender into how you keep Fireworks play or a level 8 synchro play, usually Omega or Burn Load Savage Dragon. Also remember that this engine is immune to anti-hand traps cards like Cold by the Grave, due to it not hitting the grave at all. The fact the owner has to control the monsters in order to activate any tuners and negate anything is quite detrimental. Again, hard to counter plays made by the opponent unless Lambda is on the field to mitigate that. As far as usage is concerned, this engine is universal. It can be used in pretty much anything. Of course, there are downsides to using it, but the advantages are much greater than that. I also think that this engine is here to stay, and it's best to get the cards ASAP. That'll be it for today. What do you think about this unknown gem? Leave your thoughts in the comment below, and remember to subscribe, like, and all that good YouTube stuff. See you next time in a very busted episode. And now, enjoy the bloopers. Brief, he's brief, briefs, bulma briefs, bulma briefs, 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 trunks. Let's now look at the individual, 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 individual. Let's now look at its individual components. Individual. What's individual? Is that even a word? Individual. Individual. Let's now look at the engine's individual. Individual. Why do you keep saying individual? That doesn't make sense. That's not even a word. <sighs>
most of the time it's relegated to a deck. Yes, it's relegated to a deck. A SIDE DECK! The bodies used... The bodies. Cadavers? Zombies? I see dead people. As far as usage goes, this engine is pretty much... Pretty. Pretty much, pretty, pretty, pretty much, pretty much, pretty, pretty much. I forgot what I wanted to say, so I'm rapping. Oh yeah.